There we go. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Shonen Speak Easy. I am your host, LQ. Would that be honest, Claude? Today, we have a small segment where we're going to talk about video games. Like, it's we're actually doing what we have set out to do talk about anime, video games, and music. Um, Crazy. This year has been an amazing game, amazing year for video games, and it has been kind of a crap year for music. Not even going to lie. But, um, I've beat quite a few games this year and there's two recent ones that I wanted to bring some attention to, but there's also one that I know Claude has plenty, plenty to speak about. And we've actually played some of the blockbusters this year too. So uh, which game would you like to start with reviewing? Cause I already know how you feel about one of them. Oh man. Okay. Uh, let's see. Well, number one game of the year, Baldur's Gate three. Undisputed. Gate. Everyone, everyone, the best. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, everyone, if you, you've definitely heard about it, it's literally everywhere. There's not much I can say on it that hasn't been said, but um, to people who I feel like everyone who's played or talk about, it, like, oh, you know, like, super fun game, it's a great game. Uh, for people like me, if you love D&D and you played D&D before, you loved, like, uh, just open world like the Mass Effect 1 and all the old games and how they used to be uh, it's literally that but better uh, and it kind of plays like those old games and it plays like D&D yeah and the only yeah, I will say for the people that are getting really excited uh, it is turn based combat but don't don't worry he's going to explain how great that is too yeah okay yeah so it, it is turn based combat I guess you know it's crazy that a turn based combat game is like the number one blade game in the world right now when like that's <laughs> always usually Call of Duty Counter Strike uh, all the shooting games it's never a turn based game um, ever ever <laughs> it really isn't <laughs> it's never but if you really just want to have a cool like you know if you're so much even so out of video games like let's say you just like good stories like good actual writing and you just enjoy the fantasy genre just just a good story in general it's just a good game it, it hits all the boxes even though it's turn-based it's a lot of fun and it's um it's not too crazy hard it's not too easy uh it turn-based you know there's movement and stuff that works a little differently than like i don't know classic turn-based where you like move on a hexagon and it's kind of a little bit limiting this game has like no limits it's on what you can do you can uh you can jump from the ceiling and transform yourself into a bear and do literally an rko from wwe to kill people it's insane. I've seen people do all kinds of just crazy shit, and your imagination is like the actual limit. Uh, and all your choices matter. Everyone is either killable, half of them are, uh, you know, romance options. And it's just, it's crazy. You can literally do whatever you want. And um, definitely would recommend that game. I mean, you, you everyone's seen the videos. Highly recommend. Uh, it's also multiplayer. So play with your friends, play with your spouse. Watch your spouse try and bang somebody and fail all game. Could also be very funny. Uh, there's all kinds of just fun stuff to do. Uh, definitely my game of the year. I haven't actually liked a single player game and like wanted to finish it in a very long time. So, highly recommend. That is some amazing praise, which I will also say it's not <clears throat> it's not my game of the year. But it is the game of the year. Like I, I always take a, I always, you know, try to make the difference between an objective and subjective approach. Mm -hmm. yeah. And like I, I know that everything about this game is damn near perfect. First of all, I had never like just to give an example of how good this game is i don't play turn-based games i just don't haven't played one since pokemon and even then the only Damn. one that i open up that window for is dragon quest and i didn't like the last like three pokemon games so that just goes to show you i ain't really been playing any turn-based games so 
what happened is I saw Claude playing this in early access. And when I saw it, I was like, oh, this game looks amazing. As soon as I saw the character creator, I was sold. I didn't even know what else was in store, but when I saw the character creator, I was like, okay. The guy can actually a... look black in this game. It's crazy. <laughs> Bro. And then and then I turned around and made a goddamn dragon person. Like I, it... I... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't it, it was just so refreshing to see the attention to detail that someone would give to a game and say, I want this to be not only intuitive, but I want this to be creative. And I want people to just straight up have fun with the way this character looks like with, with how this character looks going into the game, you should be able to make the person of your dreams pretty much. And sure. that's exactly get to do that too. <laughs> exactly. That's the crazy part. And then like the game has some really cool things where you get to do stupid stuff. Like there's a speed run for how fast you can have sex with someone. <laughs> that's, that's ridiculous. But I've it's seen cool. That. <laughs> <laughs> like people are just like they I mean, and it's across generations too. Like older gamers are playing this, younger gamers are playing it, and I love it. Like I, I really do love this game, and I, I know I keep saying it's not my game of the year, but the reason why it's not is because I got my game of the year so early that like, and then it, it was more of this is a lifelong dream compared to this is a game that I have. That this is a game that I think you know everyone would want to play. Right. So th I will say to me. Baldur's Gate is a nine and a half out of ten game, and I'm I'm not mad at it. I mean, I, the only reason why I don't think it's perfect is just because I had a a couple frame rate issues, but it was very light. And also, turn based combat ain't my combat. Those right, right there are like both point two five of a point. Like, ooh, that's so so damaging to a score that's nearly perfect. Yeah, no, nine and a half is pretty exactly. Pretty that, that's good extremely high I, I give the utmost praise to to what was it larian larian oh yeah uh, hey yeah, no the, dlc either no uh no, 60 dollars not 70. <laughs> exactly and so much content so much content yeah and you I, know just on the content one thing and this is gonna be my final point if i had to make one about this game mm -hmm. this is really i'm gonna forget it if you have played a ton of fantasy or any story games doesn't matter even whether it's the witcher doesn't matter whether it's whatever especially if you played in mmo rpgs there are always quests and there are that is the main quest then there's the side quest the side quest in most games is like maybe the witcher not so much but most side quests are like go fetch this go deliver this message go do that like that's actually notorious in like uh like fallout a lot of it's like oh my god shelter's under attack let's go defend shelter 55 or deliver this or kill x people like there's yeah. no story it's just uh, like or, kill the monsters or an assassin's creed hey our camp's being attacked by bears can you kill all the bears yeah and hey we're going to war and you have no idea what battle this is or why we're even in battling but if you choose the greeks you can get some cool armor I'm like okay <laughs> yeah no absolutely just everything is like go here kill this or deliver this every single every single quest in Baldur's Gate is a full-on story that you'll actually enjoy and then somehow actually relates to the main part of the story so quick spoilers there's like a there is a person that seems like the most inconsequential person in the very par uh, first part of the game and you can choose to like like you think you're just helping like you're literally like uh, helping some random person's uh, child fast forward later next part of the game that child is like it almost seems like she's a big part of the game but she could have easily died <laughs> like it's like a, like a coin toss like you don't even care and there's just so many moments where all the side quests either connect and they're all fun and they all have real stories it's not a single quest where you're like go fight and kill 10 monsters and come back and get your apple 
nothing exactly. stupid like that. So it's the key word to this game is intentional. Everything yeah. is done with intent, and that makes it so freaking good. It's you you think every corner there's something that you think there's gotta be a reason they put this here. There's gotta be something that's happening here. In most games you don't you lose that feeling because usually it's just nothing. But every you keep that feeling for this game the entire time. And usually it pays out actually. There's <laughs> just always something. Ah <laughs> oh, man. That just that made me happy to hear that again. But um another game. Now there's I will say we both played this one. I don't think this is going to be like a full a review. It's kind of mm-hmm. like a first a first reaction review, and that's Starfield. Because a lot of people, a lot of people, have been wanting to know, you know, how this game turned out as far as Xbox exclusives, and did it save Xbox, and is PlayStation still significantly better because of it? And overall, I'm going to say it kind of did save Xbox, but here's here's the issue the game isn't perfect and I, I wish it was it's not my game of the year it doesn't make my top five it's probably like number nine on my top Damn. ten of all time or this of all time or this year this year i've beaten Damn. so many freaking games so okay we gotta yeah, by the way yeah. you know follow me on twitch twitch.tv slash call me oq i on stream i haven't beat that many games off stream, I've beat plenty of games that I didn't feel like streaming just because I didn't have the time. But just in the past three months, I think I beat five games. Yeah, no, that's a hey, hey, that, that's pretty <laughs> impressive. Yeah, so like, thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> like, just you know, there's some games where I would start playing it and then I, I would just I. I would stop playing all of them. Like I, I was just like, oh, this game's not that good. Or what unfortunately happened this year, some games I wanted to put in my top 10, I found out came out in 2022 and they were just like in the last quarter. So that's a thing too. But um, Starfield, good, bad, and ugly. The good, uh, the good is to me personally, the game looks nice. I like the, like people complained about Ooh. the graphics not looking very next gen. Oh, I think- full of shit. Exactly. I and this is this is in hand to God, not even not even like saying this to, you know, have a reason to to like combat people that complained. I've genuinely heard that complaint that like the game doesn't look next gen. And I think it is one of the most next gen big games that we've seen. Like it's Baldur's Gate is a very big game, but honestly you can run it on the Steam Deck too not saying right. that it's not a good looking game it's a fantastic looking game but when i open up a very huge world starfield is exactly what i would imagine seeing you know you got to take down the film grain in the motion blur because that's just stuff i don't like but if you play it the way that it is yeah. out, the, out the gate it looks super next gen especially the the flying in the spacecraft oh my god yeah like, no nah. i have to agree with that yeah, it, it looks it's a very good looking game. Um, I, I will tell everyone on that note, man. I'm going to tell you all right now. Put you all in game. I've been using these same shitty ass $60 monitors for five, five years now. I promise you, if you are looking online and you're like, my game don't look like that. Those promo videos ain't real. You may have a crappy monitor. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> like, no, <nah. laughs> not, not, I'm not even trying to hate. Like, I don't have the latest graphics card, so I can't bump it to Ultra. You know, I can't do that. But yeah. you play this game on Ultra on a 4K monitor. I promise you, on oh God, that shit looks ridiculous. It, it doesn't, you know, some games it's not worth it, but that, this would probably be one that is. And I don't have a 4K monitor. I just have, I got a new monitor. It's, uh, what is it, 1440p? already a huge difference i can't imagine what the 4k ones are like or can't imagine i've i've seen just like videos of people out like the youtube outputting everything in ultra you know and Mm -hmm. it even on youtube a place where it's very hard to get things to render the way you want them to (laughs) even when it's dumbed down it looks amazing right like it's ridiculous Put it this way, y'all. Like, even if you quote unquote watch things 
on super high def and or you have like th- like your monitor is just going to make a difference so like it's it, there's just resolutions you're just not going to be able to see unless you have the monitor and it, yeah. um, it makes a huge di- it makes a huge difference huge. Um, i got a 1440p monitor and a 1080p 120 hertz monitor for those that don't know what that means i have one in 1080p that has a high refresh rate so like it's very smooth so 1080p smooth and then there's 1440p aka 2k very pretty so i get to see what both look like now i'm not gonna lie i wish that i had two 4k monitors at that point because the game just looks that good uh, other plus i love being able to just once again customization is an easy way to get me into a game if i can create somebody that looks like me moves like me talks like me sold every time even if they're a silent protagonist as long as they look like me for the most part i'm happy um i usually get i usually do crazy creations when i don't have the option of making the person look like me but i always want the option to see how close i can get um I put a picture in an, uh, one of our other discords of what my character looks like. And I'm not going to lie. He kind of looks like me. <laughs> he, he clears at least like 60 to 65% of what I look like. It's just a couple things that I couldn't understand how to change in order to make the character look even more like me. But this is one of the best character creators for a triple A game. Um, of course, it's still not going to be Baldur's Gate because once again, Baldur's Gate is objective game of the year. <laughs> so it executes all the things that I'm about to say to a higher extent, except for maybe graphics um, and, you know, combat, because it's all a personal choice on that one. Mm-hmm. But um, I would say those are two goods. Am I missing something? I will say combat. Actually, combat is a good. I like the fact that you can basically upgrade. You can they implemented some things from Fallout 4 where you can modulate your armor and guns really cool i like being able to customize do i know how to do it that well no but (laughs) but i want so um yeah the more that i get in the more hours i put into the game which i will be putting more hours into it uh i would definitely be better at that even the lock picking was pretty interesting inventory is i would say it's good but it could be better i mean it's a bethesda game so inventory management always has been to me one of their higher points now, once you get used to it, I haven't played Skyrim in a very long time, so I forgot okay. everything. Uh, lastly, the thing that I really like is the decision making and how you can like the traits that you have, the the personality you get to choose, the dialogue choices, all of it, especially like the persuasion. I did that at the very beginning. I did. Uh, I basically stopped. <laughs> I stopped, left the game for a while, came back and forgot that the way that I had my computer running, it was going to make it crash. It did. Yeah. And don't, it wasn't, I will not blame that on Starfield. Blame that on me and my responsibility. So Starfield crashes it, and I went back and I was like, you know what? I'm going to do the non-combat option and see if I can persuade them to not fight me. And it was really cool how it worked. Like the dialogue was very interesting and it, and the voice acting is good too can't take that away from voice acting is actually really good once again still better done in Baldur's gate but very good um the bad both both me and claude can attest to them well did you have any more good to add before i get into the bad i haven't had a chance to play too much because every time i pop it open i just want to go play Baldur's gate which is gonna sound like hater speech but it's true Uh, i will say though (laughs) <laughs> uh, i will say them uh, i don't think bad so far and i haven't experienced it yet people keep telling me our performance issues and i do believe them because i've seen proof but yeah you know i i haven't run into that myself yet and i've got like a 3070 which is it's not the lewis the newest and greatest but it's still pretty damn good so you know i not yeah, everyone right. has that it's the upper tier of the older model so yeah it makes sense i I will say that this is when i get into the bad and this is actually the point that he made is exactly what i was gonna say this is a very poorly optimized game (laughs) it is so i I also have a short this is a very small rant I, i promise i won't stick to it too long but i've already talked to cloud about this because i spend time on the social medias with idiots 
would definitely uh, social media. Yeah. The media. So, there's been reports from Tech Radar, IGN, multiple sources. This game has a hard time running on 1080 running at 1080p on low on an RTX 360. Now, if anyone needs to know like, <clears throat> what that means to them, I mean, 3060, not 360. Jesus Christ. That'd be yeah, I, I assume they knew. <laughs> I, 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 yeah. No yeah, I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to, you know, make any assumptions for anything because I know a lot of people that may be watching us have consoles. So <clears throat> the RTX 3060 launched 25th of February, 2021. Ooh. Now. Uh, now I want to say now this is uh, I want to put this in complete context. The PS5 came out in November of 2020. Full context. I want everybody to put all of this stuff in full context. Matter of fact, I'm gonna give you even a little bit more context before I say anything else. The Xbox Series X came out November 10th, 2020. Now. Is the game locked to 30 FPS on Xbox Series S? Yes. But is it running at what you would consider low for a PC? Absolutely not. It's running on high to medium settings. It's a mix. Right. But it's stuck at 30 frames per second. So remember when I was talking about the 120 hertz smoothness? It doesn't have that. Yeah, but it runs the way yeah. it, it runs the way that most of you play video games on average. End of that discussion. This game is struggling yep. to run at 1080p on low on PC on a video graphics card that came out in 2021 after the Series X and PS5. People are saying, oh, you're running something on a two and a half year old graphics card. Maybe that's why the game doesn't work. It's built for a console that came out in 2020. It's a year older. <laughs> Yeah, like even right. if you just even if you want to be technical and be like, oh, it's only like three to four months older, it's built for the same thing. Also, the 3060 has like over 20% of market share. So you're also building this for a graphics card that most people own. And it yeah. can't even run on low settings. We're not asking for it to run on ultra, because that means that the graphics that we're talking about are so great would actually have to be dulled down. So if you have to run it on high or medium, that's completely understandable, but it can't keep a steady frame rate on low, which means when you strip away how pretty this game looks and take basically make it look less like the Xbox Series X or make it look less like the PS5 and make it look more like the PS4 Pro or the, honestly the PS4 if you really put everything on low. The thing is, those graphics cards, y'all, yeah, they, they sold at, I just looked it up, 3070 sold at. Five hundred dollar at launch, seven hundred for the thirty eighty at launch. Mm hmm. These are not cheap cards. Like, I understand things progress, but like, bruh, that's not and cheap. E and even when things progress, the thing is, what we what they have made this for is running at the equivalent power of the current consoles. So why is it not optimized when a great part of the market share? belongs to this one RTX 3060. It has the same amount of power and capacity pretty much as any PS5 and any Xbox Series X that you're running on that you're running on performance mode. And it's not even able to play at low. So that is the biggest gaffe at this game. That is the absolute yeah. worst thing. Even the people that are complaining about bugs, there's a there's the but there's the jank. So you get your little, you know, like your person walking into frame of you talking to another NPC or stuff like that. And there's a small part of it that's charm, but now there's a bigger part that's growing that it's like, this is just annoying because this is part of what we're stuck with with Bethesda. Like they're going to have this happen. So this game wasn't meant to be a world beater at the very beginning. Most people were expecting a nine out of 10 game and then it got overhyped, but I mean, you, you, we already know AAA titles get all the hype. But that's yeah. most of, that's a good majority of the bad being about, I say about 10 to 12 hours in. It's just that the optimization is just so bad. 
and it, it could be so much better and if it were better the entire gaming experience would be better what made me really harp on this though is the fact that the um the was it the own the ceo of bethesda i forget his name tom howard whatever whoever he is oh, yeah i don't know that the the fact that that man said well maybe people should just upgrade their systems i was like just imagine somebody buying a ps5 game comes out at ps5 and it doesn't run well and you say oh yeah maybe you should get one of the maybe you should get the ps5 pro as soon as it comes out and it'll run better build it for what exists <laughs> Or like if it's made for the PS4 and you're like, oh, well, you actually need a PS4 Pro. No, you built it for the PS4. Build it for what exists, optimize it for what exists. And if I want to upgrade it, then I will. That's, nah, the reason yeah. why, that's the reason why people make different versions of games. Like people still play Xbox One, PS4. You're not going to stop. You If you either don't want to make the game for those consoles, you don't make them. But you don't put them on there and say, well, we really didn't want to put them on there, but we put them on there. But you should definitely upgrade because the games, the games in that state suck. That's what happened with Cyberpunk. And a lot of people returned the game. Yeah, nah, it's, it's kind of a carbon copy of that situation. It you really know? is. And uh, yeah, but like that, that's probably my, the number one issue. It's definitely number one. I will say in Starfield's defense, it isn't broken on ps4 and the xbox one the majority of people that played it and not a large majority not like 80 percent, but it closer to like 53 54 percent and in points of cyberpunk the game was completely broken like unplayable broken this game is just frustrating because it's like i don't get to enjoy it the way that it's supposed to be enjoyed but um are you referring to the older consoles yeah, for the older consoles. Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah, for, uh, just... yeah they, they got screwed on that. Well, I got screwed on it. Hell, I was a personal person. I was personally a part of that. Oh, yeah. No, I meant for uh, Starfield. <laughs> oh, yeah. Definitely for Starfield. But yeah, the uh, the ugly for Starfield is the jank. That, that's about it. Um, the jank and also um, space combat with a controller is not fun. It's much better with mouse and keyboard. Uh under, and then also, if you want to play stealth, it's easily ruined by AI uh, when you're, you know, in off the ship and in person. And when you're on the ship, it ruins the actual travel aesthetic because it makes things so much slower. So yeah. stealth, I feel like could be retooled. Um, of course, optimization is the number one thing. I think the gunfighting and the uh even the hand-to-hand -hand combat is pretty fun the ui for organizing the weapons and stuff is meh it's kind of the ugly um they don't really teach you an intuitive way to do it but they allow it to happen and then landon joined us we're doing video games review bro so we'll you know if you play one of the games just chime in but if not you get to hear it too okay. <laughs> <laughs> but um that's like the good bad and ugly of starfield overall is it a game we're oh, playing yikes. absolutely it does it have some jank and it has some downsides? Hell yeah. It's not <laughs> it's not game of the year. It's just not. I feel, and I feel like that's a big recency bias too. Is that this nah. game just came out so people keep saying that. It wasn't game of the year. It wasn't gonna be game of the year if Baldur's Gate didn't come out. Yeah. I guess yeah. And now speaking of game of the year, what were what were the games some of the good games of the year for you besides I mean, because everyone's heard about these triple A games. Man. Ooh. Let me tell you, game, my game of the year, my game of probably the past four or five years, and I'm not even, that's not even being hyperbolic. It's, it's Hi-Fi Rush. Hi-Fi, and the crazy thing is, but Thank that's God. the, but that's yeah. the release that too. That is true. That is true. <laughs> but, that's a, but that's a released Hi-Fi Rush in January. January. Wasn't you sponsored by them? Bro, I wish I was. <laughs> I know I have dick around this game, but it is an excellent game. It is <laughs> everything I could ever ask for in one like in one video game for me to play. It's linear. I don't really care for open world games 
because a lot of times they end up feeling empty, which is another small strike at, at the other game they release, Starfield, because there are parts where you feel like things aren't necessary. In Hi-Fi Rush, since it's linear, every part of the game is necessary. But you're also encouraged to explore the areas that you're in because you can get upgrades for your character. You can get gear for your character. Uh, also, this was the combat. It's not just hack and slash. It feels like it in points, but it's not. It's also a rhythm based game. So your combos and your attacks are based on being on the downbeat or being on the upbeat, depending on your for if you're doing heavy attacks. It is so well implemented. But also it teaches you that like, even if you think you have good rhythm, you probably don't. <laughs> I use the, uh, me, me and Claude, me, Claude and Chill all at one point, oh, Chill is landing, have made music. And we know how to be on beat. We've gone to Baptist churches before. I God, still need the, so long. <laughs> I, st <laughs> I still need the, uh, the rhythm assistant, like at the bottom of the screen in order to make sure that I'm on beat. But the good the good thing about it is like it's it doesn't take away from the challenge of the rest of the game because I played the game on hard I beat the game on hard it was excellent I got my butt kicked quite a few times but everything about the game once again intent has intent um, they tell you at the very beginning of the game the story is not the most complex in the world but it is very good it kind of puts you in the mind of playing. Uh, I would say closer to like a fable or Super Mario story combined. Like they don't have to be, yeah. they have their twists and turns, but it doesn't have to be this, you know, this game, video game that's reaching for an Oscar. You play, yeah. you play as Chai. Chai goes in to be uh, part of a medical experiment where he gets a, a prosthetic in order to replace his arm. They don't really tell you what happened to his arm. You just know it's in a sling and homeboy wants to be a rock star, but his arm is effed up. Yeah. He, gets the, <laughs> he gets the robot. He gets the robot prosthetic, but his MP3 player is also it fell into that machine. What happens is his heart pretty much gets replaced with the MP3 player. He still gets the arm, but he's seen as a defective because the entire process did not go the way it should have. Also, all these people that are or like low income and poor are coming in for these prosthetics or getting assigned jobs. He was supposed to be a trash, <laughs> like a trash pickup person. And instead of going through with that, since he's seen as a defective, the whole company is just trying to get rid of him because they can't have any defects. And he ends up fighting his way out, getting help from someone that wants to take down the entire company. And that's where their adventure begins. And every part of it just makes me happy. The color palette, the way that the graphics are designed, and the game is optimized. <laughs> I ran the game on yeah, ultra settings, I, like the I old will, way. Yeah, I will say, yeah, no, for, for people who don't have a good mental image in your head, as far as the way it looks, uh, if you're not really YouTubing it right now, imagine like Borderlands graphics with the gameplay that LQ is essentially saying kind yeah. of that kind of that style or honestly put it um here's an even better description season five jojo's bizarre adventure mixed with borderlands the <laughs> art styles put together like it looks like in if you were to play this game like or, well if you were to spectate this game and just play looked at the story it looks like a comic book or anime just coming to life true bad yeah, big facts yeah, and, and it's just like, watching you stream it. Yeah, you definitely are <clears throat> giving a good explanation of it. Appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> but uh, I have literally no. What well, I don't think I have any complaints about this game. It didn't overstay its welcome. It's a. Uh, I think it's about fifteen hours, fifteen to sixteen hours. Okay. It doesn't overstay its welcome to a point where Damn. you don't play it anymore. The boss battles are unique and they're very cool. The voice acting is amazing. It's funny, but also it has like a couple plot twists in there that are very interesting. And once again, it's it's actually really funny. Like I, there's <laughs> there's a couple moments where I genuinely laughed and I was like, dang, I kind of hope I get to play that cutscene again because that was hilarious. But um, it's everybody is likable, and I know a lot of people are like, I get so tired of the male white protagonist, but the the whole ensemble 
there's peppermint who i'm like almost sure is mixed <laughs> um wait who was it chai peppermint there's um what is his name he's like the strongest guy in the game i can't remember his name macaron he's, yeah macaron is huge black dude and also like helps you out with new gear and stuff like that peppermint helps you get the new combos you got a you got a robot who ends up like having a a major moment in the story and the boss like i said boss battles are great but also the motives of the bosses don't seem out of line because it's just you versus the corporation you're literally part of the machine fighting the machine and to me that made for a perfect game so good that the game is on xbox game pass got to play it for free i bought all the dlc <laughs> I bought every part of the DLC possible. I don't even know if it gave me a new game. I know yeah. I got a lot of gear. This man bought the soundtrack. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Probably I did. Hey, ain't nothing sound- wrong with that. The soundtrack is uh, great. <laughs> hey, ain't nothing wrong with it. Yeah, but that is... Oh, absolutely. Oh, okay, okay. That, that is my... The soundtrack... Oh, wow. I underplayed that really hard. The soundtrack is one of the best overall. If you like rock music at all, at all it is an amazing soundtrack red hot chili peppers is in there i believe raging is a machine is has a song in there and even for um i had to play it in streamer mode so i couldn't let the licensed music play the original composed music for hi-fi rush is also really really good i think they might be on is it on spotify i don't think it is Dang it. Oh, wait. No, no, no. It is. It is. It is on Spotify. It's um, Suchi Kabori. That's the name. Yeah. Glass Pyramids, REO, uh, Masadoshi, Yanagi. Like, all of them. Fun, Great job. Fun fact. If you have premium, there's a public playlist published by Bethesda Softworks, too, for it. That's dope. So, yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> the people you mentioned are like, Pretty much, actually, that guy. I'm not gonna try and pronounce it. Sh- Sh- K- Kabar, yeah, that motherfucker. Oh, Everything. Sushi Kabar, Kabar. Yeah, mm-hmm. close yeah. enough. <laughs> that dude's like, good. Yeah, <laughs> so, no. yeah, you got some bangers on there. They got like six, they have like 66 songs on the soundtrack. About to say, yeah, there's 73 on this playlist, and some of them just like they're. Um, I see a couple from like I see like the Black Keys on here, Nine Inch Nails. Mm-hmm. As uh, the other people who are not Kabari and the Kabari and Co. Because I ain't producing, I'm not pronouncing these other names. It's That's very fair. cool. Also interesting because this game is not like a Japanese centric game, but uh, they have a very like that's kind of crazy. It's a little different. Yeah, and that is just so fun. Like it's it's yeah. definitely the every time eating our ass in rock and roll. Is that what's happening? <laughs> Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So. After the last concert I went to, hell yeah, they are. But yeah, this game came out January 25th, and it's been my game of the year ever since that moment. I've had some get close, but this is my number one. I don't think anything touches it. I think Baldur's Gate 3 is probably... It's probably my number three, only because of, uh, you know, I've been playing Sea of Stars. Sea of Stars just... Man. You like watching me play it, but I love playing the game. <laughs> Pretty good game. Definitely a fan. Mm-hmm. Really good game. But yeah, that's that's what got me really into a turn-based fighting, like turn-based combat. I actually play that game. I usually have like a game that I will passively play. So like I'll play it for like 45 minutes, then turn it off just so I can wind down. It used to be Madden, but Madden sucks now. And then it used <laughs> to be <laughs> a WWE 2K23, but... And I still play that because, once again, I'm a whore for character creation. <laughs> and my character looks like me. So, when I started playing Sea of Stars, it was strictly Don't the worry, y'all. I'm, I'm going to tell everyone right now. Don't worry. As someone who doesn't care nearly as much, the games are still good. Oh, yeah. The, the <laughs> character creation aside, there's still, still solid games to play. But um, Sea of Stars does not have that. It does. It's turn-based. It does not have the character creation I want. It's 16-bit slash 32-bit graphics, which I'm a fan of, by the way. But everything else about the game screamed, you're not going to like this game that much. And I played the demo and I was like, oh, 
I'll play the full game when it comes out. This game looks cool. And I like the I found out that the company that made it made the game called The Messenger, who also they made The Messenger is also a game based on games I don't freaking like. And I was like, but I love this game. I don't like Metroidvanias. I'm a very, I'm pretty picky about the games I play. But uh, <laughs> I love platformers. Hey, Metroidvanias, don't make me backtrack. We only move forward around here. I'm just like, just like Super Mario. We move right or left, not both. <laughs> Metroidvania or Castlevania? You're damn right. Me, um, technically, this would be considered a Metroidvania. Gotcha. Yeah, because we um, you may revisit. I think the difference is like revisiting spots in Castlevania leads to newer enemies and like newer objectives to where metroidvania is when you go back you usually get items and upgrades to move forward in order to fight new bosses and new enemies so like Damn. different things don't happen That's in crazy, bro. you actually knew the difference <laughs> it's, it's 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 minor because somebody somebody told me before and i was just like bro i don't fucking know but <laughs> i think it is a small difference and especially now like metroid is trying to set itself apart so yeah but yeah the messenger was another game that took me by took me by surprise when it was on xbox game pass and i was like you know what i'll play it and then i found out not only were the companies the same Bro, the Sea of Stars is supposed to be a precursor to the Messenger, so they're in the same universe. So now I gotta beat the game. Oh Boy, shit! Man. Yeah, I definitely want to play it. But yeah, um, Hi-Fi Rush for me, ten out of ten game. It's pure perfection. It's made it on my top ten list of video games of all time. I think it's like number eight or number nine. But it's Some it's high praise right there. It's very high praise. I love the game. I genuinely like if I could. If I were to write them a letter just to tell them how much I love the game, like I would literally take the time to do it. But um, still can't. The, the, I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> like, unless, ah. unless I knew they were going to read it or they would sponsor me, I'm not going to do it. But um, that's fair. Sea, sea of Stars gets the same score as Baldur's Gate, nine point five out of ten. Measure them, measuring them off of what they are, not the same. It's not a universal scale. I'm measuring them based off of what they are and if they execute what they want to be well. I think Hi-Fi Rush is a beautifully executed game to be a rhythm-based action RPG. It is perfect. Uh, well, action adventure, a little less RPG. Uh, Baldur's Gate is the perfect RPG. Not even gonna argue with it. You can say whatever the hell you want about the game. Baldur's Gate 3 <laughs> is the perfect RPG. Uh, sea of The Sea of Stars is uh, basically one of the best turn-based RPG JRPGs I've ever played in my life. The story is probably the only reason why it gets 0.5 knocked off because honestly at first I didn't care. <laughs> I'm now now that I'm like maybe 12 hours in, now I'm getting more sucked into the story and I care. But Baldur's Gate made me care immediately. Hi-Fi Rush made me care immediately. I'll go over like my top 10 for the year later, but I played enough games in order to make a top 10 for the year. All right, all right. Yeah, no, I definitely am uh, excited to hear that in the future. But now we've gone over video games for a while. Want to see how y'all feel about well, I'm now anime or music. Ooh, anime. We haven't talked anime in a bit. Anime right. for sure. It is shonen rap. <laughs> <laughs> speak easy. Speak about whatever we want around here easily. Exactly. All right. So let's speak about Shonen. Or get fucked up and drink on. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I don't, has it? What is the? You know what? I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start negative. <laughs> Cause Damn, I love, bro. I love oh, having. We've been it. having a lot of love in this. Of this, course. Uh, this chat. Let's, yeah. let's go negative. Let's go negative. Who is the worst anime character? Or, you know what? I take the back. Not even go worse. Who is the most overrated anime character? Overrated? Overrated. In what way, bro? Entertainment or like likability? Or- Both. All, all of the above. above. However you see fit. Dang. That's crazy. That's crazy. Overrated, bro? My take is going to make some people mad. 
Alright, let's start don't your take while I think about Don't tell Minecraft. me you're about to say Goku or something. No. I don't. Uh, I think right. Goku is in the mix somewhere, but I don't think Goku is. Alright, who's your most. Oh, you're talking about all anime. Most overrated. Let's hear it. Rock Lee from Naruto. Rock Lee? Ouch. Rock, what? Rock Lee gets way more love and praise than his actual abilities have led him to gain. Man, this is a hating ass nigga. <laughs> what? No, yeah, Rock Lee's cool as hell. Yeah, you hate nigga. How many. <laughs> How many fights has Rock Lee won? It don't matter, bro. It's not the yes, point. it does. You know, you yes, know why it don't matter, still, nigga? That's not the point. Hey, we, hey, we still hey, love hey, Vegeta, hey. and he lost all the time. So he's also <laughs> won more fights than Rock Lee, which is still my point. <laughs> hey, 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 hey! You know what though, man? Your metric is fights. That's what you're basing this off of. Fights. You wanna know what? I I, I said all encompassing. <laughs> Man, that nigga, that nigga Rock Lee is us, nigga. He gets his ass whooped on the daily. He's just a normal dude. My nigga just doing push-ups. Krillin and is I... a normal dude, and he won more fights. Man, no one likes Krillin, though. Krillin got that annoying-ass voice. No one wants to be Krillin, bro. Come on, let's keep it a butt. Oh, no, Krillin, it a butt. Won, Krillin won in the end. Right. Yeah, I... Krillin won big time. Krillin also actually... By getting with a robot? No in training. We, 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 he's we also like the robot. sick... <laughs> and also the, second, also the second richest person in the Dragon Ball Z universe. But yeah. Oh, bro. He, he if Goku wanted money in that world, bro, come on, bro. Let's keep it apart, bro. Yeah. He holding the planet hostage if he want to get some money, bro. You gonna pay this man. He's done that multiple he times. Ended too. up getting everybody killed. So I don't think him holding. Right, well, maybe they should have. Maybe they should have paid up then. <laughs> what is he gonna use nah. it on? Oh, training gear. Who whoop de do? Hey, that nigga, nah, that nigga Boo said I don't give a damn how much money. I'm blowing up this whole thing, <laughs> bro. That was epic. That was I, epic. Oh, I ain't let I'm not let you get this. I'm gonna just tell you why you're wrong. I just want to uh-huh. say why you're wrong. I just want to <laughs> get over this real quick. Rock Lee is the nigga in Naruto that just does push-ups, and he's like the most relatable guy though. Like 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 Naruto's out here making clones of himself. Sakura's got some freaky weird ass teachers. Rock Lee's teacher is just some fitness instructor, bro. That nigga just does Pilates. Who deserves, <laughs> of he his ass who deserves just as much love, if not more, than Rock Lee? What in the Naruto universe or in the, in the whole what? No, just oh, in the Naruto universe. Uh, what? There's the, everyone else gets a lot of love, so no one else I think deserves more, bro. I think, I think my guy deserves way more love, but I think Kakashi Ooh. probably has the most love. My guy, his trainer. My my guy has so much love. Man, was out here sacrificing. Man, my man. Yes, does I said he he said he deserves he just as much as Rock Lee. Oh, he doesn't get much Rock Lee. Oh man, talking about like a difference between nine ounces and ten ounces but, of water. All right, I'll be real. The reason, and then another major reason why I do think Rock Lee is overrated is that if you ask people about the, not the strongest, but the best characters in the show, like people speak of Rock Lee like he did something significant in the show. <laughs> and it's like, it's great he beat Gara. What else did he do? <laughs> hey, bro. That, that man is sticking up for everyone, everyone like us, right? That's, that, <laughs> I'm rolling with Rock Lee. There, I am rolling with this. And it's the thing, it's not bad to like him. Not me saying overrated doesn't equal bad. Oh, I'm saying it's like giving Rock Lee A plus when he's a C character is not what you're supposed to be doing. You nah. can love him, but acknowledge him where he's at, not what we what you make believe he is. I've even seen memes nah, about nigga, comparing no Rock Lee to have you seen what that is? That's literally overrated and underrated are actual metrics. <laughs> nah, nigga, there ain't no, no metrics when it comes to Rock Lee. There ain't no metrics. You know what the that's you know what the point. metric actually is? Being less than everyone else that's cast yeah. in the show. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> right, nah, nah, nah. That's my boy. Because people be uh, like, he's more useful than Sakura. No, he's not. <laughs> nah, okay, I, he's straight tripping. <laughs> yeah, so I was just, Somebody told like I literally was in a, a Reddit chat and I was yeah. like I just want to see about these characters before I watch the show. And when somebody was like Rock Lee has more serves more purpose than Sakura, I was like, wow, everybody hates Sakura. She must be garbage. I started watching the show. I was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Nah, the crazy thing is when when sweaty nerds be getting real pissed at Sakura because they're like, man, Sakura just be chasing around Sasuke. He don't even fuck with her like that. 
like, yeah, that you know, is sad. And, you know, and it's just like it's be the same nerds that be thirsting for girls too. And I'm like, y'all niggas the same. Y'all should love this bitch. She goes exactly. through the same struggles <laughs> as y'all. Got the same lives. <laughs> <laughs> the thing that sucks is she's more useful than you. <laughs> <laughs> Yo ass, yo ass here on fucking TikTok lives with these NPCs throwing out glizzies and shit. Oh Soccer over here stays in the world. <laughs> At least she can heal somebody that's broken. Y'all trying to break people that need healing. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> Soccer gets on live. She's going to get some people happy. You get on live. Everyone's just going to be like, yeah. For okay. sure. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, that's my that's my most. She just she just a hoe that didn't know when to give up. Man, I thirst in, she could I thirst in hope because she could because she could fix him literally. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, when that situation actually apply, right? Man, said, Bitch, I don't give a fuck what you can do. Nah, that no for real though. Which also that's like one of my least favorite characters in the anime. I haven't finished it yet, by the way. But I've made it far enough to not <laughs> like that motherfucker. Right, you don't like the edge lord, bro? You don't like that nigga that's sitting in the corner of the club with the low voice? Like, hey, bitch, I don't fuck with you. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> so annoying. But yeah, hope, maybe I got somebody to choose that people will side with more. I know people aren't going to like my choice, but I'm I'm right, God damn it. Fuck your metrics, nigga. Oh man, I didn't even—I can't even think about. It. You got me over here in a fucking a fucking sweat about Rockley. What the hell am I gonna say? What the hell am I gonna say? Most overrated. Yeah. Oh, man. Goku is a good choice though. Yeah, like there's the easy one. Like Shonen is easy to me because I could be like, oh, so and so because they kind of suck for real, for real. Like I thought you were gonna say Nazi from Fairy Tale because that nigga been using the same move since episode one, but like. I, that's a hundred percent who I thought you were gonna show, choose. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, that's because you know that comes more of I just hate it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay, you you recognize your hater in there? Yeah. <laughs> now I I know the difference. I definitely know the difference. His show sucks. He's okay. <laughs> the show just sucks. his powers actually match up. What he's supposed to be capable of, he's fully capable of. But the show sucks. Mm-hmm. That's the most. If I went most overrated anime, oh, it's fairy tale, one hundred percent. But but since it's just the oh, character, without question. Uh, see exactly. It, picking the whole anime easy. As far as the character, nah, he's actually pretty. He's actually pretty freaking strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, his character. You know what? His character is exactly how it should be. So that you know, you're right on that one. You're right. Man, uh, um. Damn, now you, now you did draw this line between hater and non-hater, bro. I'm going to just say it, bro. Like, all these little, like, uh, I don't have anything off the top of my head right now. I kind of want to say people who like Clannad, the whole show overrated. Tyler watching shit just be sad for no reason. But it's really hard for me to pick <laughs> a... Bro, hey, bro, it's like reality TV, bro. Like, we know... You just doing it for the for the reactions of the producer has a huge role in it. Come on, bro. Oh yeah. Right, that's how I feel about Clinad. Um yeah, I don't got a character, bro. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a hundred but a hundred percent with you. I ain't got no character. You wanna uh, know what, you wanna know what's funny though? Uh I just looked at uh one I just looked on SK Anime's website and they jif- they definitely have Natsu at number one. But they also have Saitama at number two, which just makes me laugh. So I was just like, all right, this is, mm. <laughs> this list is already falling apart. Okay, perfect. I can just make fun of someone else's opinion again. Because, uh, yeah, that's kind of why is he overrated, bro? I, I don't understand. He, he is a it's just only because, <clears throat> yeah, I'm about to say, I think it's because people literally don't take it for what it is. It's fucking satire. Like he's literally OP for a reason. I mean, if you take the acronym one punch op i mean it's it's pretty simple yeah. so like when it, yeah. when it comes to being overrated or whatever like um he doesn't fit that category because he, he shouldn't be a part of this category you just know, like if, the other gag character i forgot her name it's like a little girl i got some um, you're right you know, i'm gonna i'm gonna cut in my sake i got my choice i got my All choice right. what you got 
I've only seen one episode of this anime. So for all y'all out there who are gonna hate me for saying this is my reason when I've only seen one episode, I don't really give a shit. Uh, my choice is the main character from Chainsaw Man. Cause that motherfucker is kind of lame. I'm not even. Gonna, I'm not even <laughs> gonna. Watch. They made me stop watching the show. Like I just his motivation. I never, I never even watch watched it. I don't care. Hey, hey, bro. The man's motivation is to touch a titty. At first, yep. I was oh, like, you know what? Goodness. At first, I was like, all right, this is a front. This is funny. But then, like as a serious show with that as his serious goal, and I was like, and people thought this shit was amazing, and I was like, yo. What type of hell incel shit is that? No, <laughs> hell, no, no. Right. So, do y'all want the SK list or do you want Rankers list? Oh, I'm gonna just go. I gotta, hear, I gotta hear Landon answer first. Oh so yeah, I was gonna say. Hear. I was gonna say after Landon's answer, then yeah, I can go. I was about to say, the hey, hey, and, why, and send, send me the list. Send me the list. Me yeah, because there's some crazy lists out there. Uh, trying to think, because. I mean, because I, I could do a One Piece person, but I know that might piss some people off. Dog, do it. Come on. And, Come and out and say Luffy that. overrated. Come out and say it. I mean, I don't want I mean, to because that's, that's my guy. But, uh, I mean, like, if you do I, it, I, I ain't going to respect it, but, like, you can, <laughs> you can do it. Well, I mean, the only reason I'm saying it is only because, uh, like, I was looking at arguments and stuff like that on Twitter. And like they were just saying some really, really ignorant stuff. They were like, "Oh, uh, Luffy's punch, uh, ba- was it Bogarang gun or whatever against uh, Kaido?" And they were like, "Oh, well, that one punch can take out the whole Naruto uh, universe and stuff." And I'm like, "You got, you just gotta chill out. You just gotta shut the fuck up." Like, I appreciate Naruto for what it is, One Piece for what it is, and Bleach. But like, when it comes to the big three, uh, I feel like Luffy's close to being like the weakest one uh, when it comes to the main character now this is me saying this as Luffy as my favorite all time you know MC and stuff like that but I can yeah. at least acknowledge that when it comes to rating his power and stuff I think people are trying to elevate it higher than what it really is because if you put it in certain aspects like going against like gods and stuff like that in Dragon Ball Z and stuff like that or Dragon Ball Super uh, I don't think that it holds up as good as people think it could or let alone uh, Naruto and stuff like that they talking about oh one punch can take out you know all the ninjas and, and stuff like that and leave village and I'm just like okay let's just chill out man I'm not gonna chill out I agree <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just say it bro wow I, I agree with the fact that people who think, you know, because Luffy is, you know, a rubber man and he's not one punch man who is by definition invincible. You know, like, all right, he ain't all this, all that. I'm going to just say every one of them niggas is corny. I, I, bruh, I hate power rankings, bro. Mm-hmm. I, I really do. I, I, if I'm watching, bro, if I'm watching a show, what was the, the show with the little street kids running around? Uh, uh, bro, on motorcycles and shit. Because um, everybody I, try to everybody try to base it off of, oh, well, he he does this, he neg diffs this, and then and I'm like, man, just enjoy the fucking show. Damn. I All remember, right. I remember so saying, seeing great teacher Onizoku is bad because he can't beat up Naruto. Like, bitch, he's a teacher on a motorcycle. Why, yeah, what, like, come on, man, let's, let's, <laughs> let's, let's, let's be fucking serious, man. I remember there was like a power ranking argument. And someone was like, there was a crossover with Luffy Toriko and was it was it Luffy Toriko and Goku or was it Luffy Naruto and Goku? Either one. And they were like Goku Luffy and Toriko Luffy and Goku. Okay, there we go. And they were like, yeah, and Luffy beat Goku. And then somebody was like, are you using a crossover as your evidence? And I was like, Nigga, <laughs> yeah, he should. <laughs> <laughs> you're not gonna scale his power in a universe that's totally different. You're gonna use when they actually fought each other. Yeah, nigga, that makes sense. Like, <laughs> it, just, it just sounds about right. But that's what makes the power scaling even dumber. It's like people won't actually take into account that these are totally different universes. And also, Luffy's human. Like, we, anybody that's thinking he's ru- ruining universes, he's he's human. Just let it yeah, go. He- he can, my, he boy, can, my boy loses to H2O, bro. Get a little bathtub. Exactly. Like, <laughs> hey, tr- hey, trust me. 
Goku will annihilate that nigga. As much as many arguments I've seen between him and Goku, Goku just Super Saiyan or uh, Super Saiyan God or something like that is good enough. You don't even have to go Ultra Instinct. Yeah. I'm telling you, like that, that, and that's why you know Oda always credits Dragon Ball for you know serving as inspiration to making the series. So why the hell would you think he can beat? Something that inspired him to make the series. Come on, like, nah, nah, bro. No, just stop. Yeah, that's that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. We but yeah. To. And like yeah. I said, I love One Piece. I love Luffy, but come on, man. As long we as be, we got to be realistic. Exactly. As long as we Probably. can enjoy all this content and also bow down to Saitama as the most ultimate warrior of all of them, then we're all good. There's no reason to even argue. <laughs> nah, as long as we can all agree that LQ is wrong and Rock Lee is my nigga, we can <laughs> move on happily, actually. I second that. <laughs> and we can just let the world spin. Saitama you know, could sneeze on him and kill him. But anyway. <laughs> uh, oh, you go that gordy ass power scale, nigga. Here That's we go with nigga. the power scaling. God damn it, man. <laughs> it's not really a scale when someone has none. <laughs> That has any. <laughs> hey, 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 hard work. That man is an embodiment of hard work. That man is an embodiment of all Respect. the false things that America has told you. Batman <laughs> is the true outcome of what Rock Lee is trying to do. Hey, <laughs> hey, 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 bro. You can train all you want. You hey. got some steroids and money? No, you don't. <laughs> oh, you come broke the rest of your fucking life. <laughs> we don't need any Batman slander here, okay? Bro, I'm mad talking about it. So and so can sneeze on him, bro. See, we could take some random ass wizard from fucking uh, Fairy see, Tale see, who now, knows now, how to just cast a little thing. Now you fucking up. Batman, my right, does, bro, does the does average that... ninja in Fire Leaf Village can fuck us up, bro. Don't be uh, on that, my boy. Th- honestly, as long as Fairy Tale is a bad anime, I don't care. <laughs> no, I still like Fairy Tale though. Uh, I don't. I don't fuck with Fairy Tale. <laughs> fairy Tale yeah, easily. I haven't even finished it, so yeah. Fairy Tale is easily in the bottom three animes I've watched so far in my life. What was it? Most. I felt like it was just like an anime that like. If you just had time to kill, man. I mean, when I was like less busy and I didn't have as many responsibilities, so great. I just got to watch some cool fight animations and the story progressed exactly how you thought it would. And there was no real surprises, but you know, I just slipped out. There, there were no surprises, bro. <laughs> <laughs> there's no, no real surprises. There's no surprises. <laughs> hey, bro. It's just, you know, you just got to see it go how it go, you know. Uh, LQ mm. said, basically, there's no reason to watch it. There, there is, there really isn't. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Play Dragon Ball Z. We know who's gonna win. Don't, don't play that. At least Goku hey, died. Hey, 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 Coming hey, from hey. a person that's very critical of Dragon Ball Z, Let's chill out. At least Goku died in surprises. Man, <laughs> if he comes back the first time. Come on, we all know he's gonna come back. Hey, he, he be taking some long breaks. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that nigga absentee father. It's all good. Absolutely. Dude. I'm with that too. Don't worry. I'm down for Goku slander. I'm just saying that slander should not outweigh the slander that Fairy Tale gets. Nah, it's the same number. Ew. There's no need <laughs> for Goku slander. Eh, I'm okay with it. Goku slander don't really bother me now. <laughs> yeah, be I, right. saw, I saw a TikTok about how Goku be gaslighting people. <laughs> and I, like, yeah. <laughs> you ever see like the alien shows up? Like I'm gonna destroy your plan from outer space, and Goku's like, "Are oh, you a bitch?" You can't actually yep. go down here and fight me. I want to throw hands. He's like, well, I'll fight you. He's like, <laughs> uh, you can't really box them, my guy. <laughs> and they, they always get pissed and they come down and get their ass with I'm like, damn. He really just be gaslighting enemies and saying they ain't good enough. He really do. The only person that he didn't gaslight correctly was Kid Boo. Kid Boo was like, yeah. oh, he was like, yeah, just let me train for a while and then we'll be ready to fight. He was like, I'm going to burn up every fucking planet until your ass come outside. Yeah. yeah, he was he was nothing about no negotiating, no nothing, just fucking scrap, nigga. That, that's Bro, it. The very first boss of Dra- I said boss, besides 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 Vegeta, who gets his ass actually whooped on, on turn one. Freezer. I like how they show that little intro of him blowing up planets and this nigga gets ass whooped on the planet <laughs> by somebody who can't breathe in outer space. Like that's really that's really how I go. That's it. <laughs> like you could have just flew away, bro, but you just had to throw hands. <laughs> that's that ego. That I look at that. 
Maybe Dragon Ball Z is about a deep, deep theme set into ego in the fall of man. Greek poetry levels of writing. Oh. Or it's just a nigga trying to throw hands. But just just a nigga threat basically a nigga who has an insatiable appetite to fight and put the planet in danger multiple times. <laughs> Honestly, what a great role model. But, <laughs> I'm gonna teach you how to get it on your own. <laughs> Teach a nigga how to squabble. <laughs> oh man. Oh shit. Alright. I, I also forgot before we went on this overrated anime characters. I wanted to uh-huh. actually talk about <laughs> <laughs> I, I forgot my original thing was uh I just wanted to plug I would like everyone if they're watching a current anime right now, say what is your only one, what is your it doesn't have to be even the best you're watching. It could be something stupid that you're just like, I think somebody should watch this. What is your number one recommendation to watch right now? That is ongoing. Ooh, that is ongoing. Or like came out maybe last season. You know, oh, something okay. recent. Something, something super recent. Mine is easy. The Ranking of Kings. Uh, it It is recent, but it, the season is already done. It's supposed to be having a second season pretty soon. I recommend the ranking of kings over just about everything. A wholesome ass answer. I should have known. <laughs> <laughs> he oh, means wholesome ass and good. <laughs> 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 he also watched it. He means good. It, it is. It is good. It is good. It's good. It's good. It's good story. I mean, obviously, mine is One Piece, but another one is Jujutsu Kaisen. That's that's also popping off right now. And I'm actually currently okay. watching that. I'm behind, but it's. it's I'm, good. Glad you, I'm glad you said that because I'm about to dog you for listening to anime that I've been out for like 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, they giving peak after peak every week, man. I'm just saying. That's true. When they ain't saying at each other for five minutes, that should be fire. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna yeah, lie. This, this last episode that dropped Saturday, yeah, I'm fucking with it. Yeah, man. Like the, the time that they actually. Made it to to the sky and met God. Like that was that was excellent. That was, that was only a few weeks ago, right? That's where I am. Uh, yeah, I that was this nigga like hundreds of episodes behind. <laughs> that is yeah. a thousand episodes behind. Yeah, I'm almost, I'm almost a thousand episodes behind. No, 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 no. I'm doing better than that. I'm a hundred. I'm at episode one. Oh wait, there's ten. Was it? It said one thousand seventy six. Yeah, one thousand seventy five right now. No, one thousand seventy five. Woo! I'm on episode 168. <laughs> Hold on, let me. <laughs> Damn, I gotta check. I gotta check Netflix. Hey man, sometimes it, it's I get the bond with my child. Okay, he'll be in like elementary school by the time I catch up, which means he can. <laughs> you he gotta can start all over. <laughs> <laughs> he can start all over. Here, like, I'm on, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm on episode 164. All right, I'm proud of myself for even remembering hey. how close I was. All right, only but, only nine or right. nine hundred and eleven episodes. Nine eleven. Hey, hats off to you. Hats off to you. Making some oh, serious okay. progress. Hey, I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, Shout out to uh, nine eleven. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Wait, hold up. How we got there from One Piece? Because of how many episodes I'm behind and the date today is also 9 11. Yeah, yeah, that's why I said it. Mm, okay. <laughs> yeah, I was like, don't don't take it away from him. He, he did try to make some kind of, you know, drawing something between Japanese and airplanes <laughs> and explosions. But I, mean, right, I, cool. mean, I, I can say some wild stuff, but I'll say this. <laughs> we passed that. Mm-hmm. That's right. No, okay, cool. Yeah, no, I, I've also watched you Juice Kaisen as well, though. To, to bring back that from uh, One Piece, which one is great, but Jujutsu Kaisen is also a great season. Uh, great movie, and, too. Uh, you know, I hear like Academia movie. last season was pretty good, too. She, I'm so behind on that. I, I know it's about to come to a close, but uh, I was very impressed oh, with season real? six. Yeah, I think they about, yeah. then they got like one or two seasons mm-hmm. left, if that. I need to actually probably watch that next thing. But season six was very entertaining. Damn, y'all got like some fun answers, bro. My answer kind of, it's fun, but like, 
for 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 all the wrong reasons. Oh Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Nah, nah. My answer is you. My answer is I'm 100. Oh yeah, I, I'm 100. Good answer. But I figured that'd be yours, so I didn't want to say that either. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate it. I, I don't know if I had another anime I would really recommend right now, but so, actually, Jujutsu Kaisen would have been mine. But uh, Zama 100 is my favorite one because I think it's hilarious that someone would truly. This is a show just about a guy who is in a zombie apocalypse, and the whole show is about how he'd rather be in a zombie apocalypse than go to work at a cubicle. It's beautiful. It, it hits a chord with a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> I know it does. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? That shit is the best thing ever. I mean, if anyone here actually has worked in the cubicle, that shit is soul crushing, bro. I, 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 I can't imagine. Time. Thank God I don't anymore. For, for, for reference, this guy, you know, Japanese work culture is pretty bad. So they, he, I think they, uh, like before the whole thing breaks out, some of his coworkers say that they like pull 150 hour weeks. Damn. Or 150 Wait. hours are unpaid over time. And I'm just like, bro, <laughs> what? <laughs> or like they stay in the office and just sleep there and then wake up and get back to work. Which that's just time <laughs> Anytime I used to go over uh, 40 hours, like if it was 40 hours and two minutes, I'm already pissed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you, you would hate to work in Japan. Yeah, I'll, t- I I'll always tell, wonder a, I'll tell a nigga off bad. real quick. <laughs> yeah, nah. I couldn't do it. I, I always wonder if it's really that bad. Like all the videos and stuff say it's that bad, but you know, I've never like went there and done on the street interviews. Though those also say it's still just as bad, but uh, man, it's just so unbelievable. And every day they just be releasing stuff like this. Like, I need to go there bad. to I need to go there to tour and also um go to a massage parlor. <laughs> <laughs> ah, deep tissue massage? Nice. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Make sure they get the extremities. Yes. <laughs> like your shoulders? <laughs> been, been, a lot of, been a lot of tension there. Yes. <laughs> mm, I'd recommend lunges. <laughs> Over or under the table? Like, that's, that's kind of complicated. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe downward dog. Maybe upward dark. <laughs> you know what kind of sucks? I was just looking at this video game. I really want to play this on Switch. It's uh, called Mighty Ma Bakaru. And it's not coming to the United States at all. That's messed up, man. It's like, I really want to play this. It's basically like playing Ratchet and Clank, but if the dude had drumsticks instead of guns. Oh, That's no. fantastic. Man, I want to play this game so bad, and it's, I don't think it's coming to the states at all, bro. You just remind. I, I'm gonna rehype on this. One, that sucks. Two, I have bought games from Japan, and I've you 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 quickly just you know I feel like a. <laughs> I understand how people be feeling when they come to this country they don't know English. That was me navigating that menu. Like, what the fuck are these characters? <laughs> like, it's not even the Latin base language. I really can't tell what's happening. <laughs> I want to play this game so bad, bro. I I am so mad that it's not coming hey, out here. I do just they let you. Like, can you buy a Japanese Switch uh, thing and plug it in a, a US or English Switch? And that's what makes me concerned. I don't know oh, if no. it's gonna do that at all. Mm-hmm. Nintendo be real fucking particular about I, I don't, their I don't IPs. Know. I, I don't think. Yeah, I about to say, I don't think you can because I remember when I got a um, Camber. Uh, uh, switch, uh, we got it from the UK or whatever. But uh, the only thing that was different was the plug, obviously. But other than that, everything else was the exact same as a this one. To anyone listening to this podcast, if you honestly want to Google this and figure it out, you can just leave a comment somewhere and we'll read it because I, I don't feel like Googling it. Yeah, for real. I, I really want to know mm-hmm. actually. So if one of y'all can figure that out. That'd be great. <laughs> I'm <laughs> keeping a buck yeah. because I don't, I don't feel like talking about it, but I, I, I would like to know. Um, but either you want to talk about it's Japanese. You mentioned drumsticks. Uh, yeah, I just want to, I want to know if this is how y'all truly feel. Do y'all think? So I had a, I met someone today. He's a producer here in Houston. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, he makes music and stuff. 
and uh, we were talking and we were talking about musicians and whatnot. And uh, he says that when it comes to any instrument involving a rock and roll band, the Eastern countries are whooping our ass and we ain't got shit for new artists who actually can play instruments like like a guitar <laughs> like, <laughs> anything like that yeah so, honestly <clears throat> as long as americans can make beats i don't care like they it, and also like it's very underrated it's very underrated and like underspoken about how talented a lot of even just for you know someone like me that really loves rap it's very understated how good people are in rap with other instruments. Even somebody like, and I know you can go ahead and laugh, Landon. Even somebody I don't care for, like Pimp C, Pimp C played three instruments. Oh, everybody, knows, <laughs> everybody knows Everybody um, knows Flavor Flav just for being like the ad lib guy in Public Enemy. He is a great pianist. It's just that now that Ooh, things are go ahead i'm sorry i'm about to be a hater oh okay that's fine <laughs> it's just that like there's no we got better producers for almost everything else like if you want if you're making if you're making hip-hop beats if you're making r&b beats like they emulate the things that we create but as far as live instruments yeah they got it <laughs> yeah, they, like they, we, i know they got it like, I just came around and agreed with me <laughs> yeah like i my thing is though it's just like they make it matter way more than it does like i remember uh what was who it? is they who makes it matter more people in other countries and like or people that like people that just love live instruments make mm. it closer yeah, to me. the end all be all of making good music when it's not necessarily it like there was a um, for the grammys when beyonce won album of the year over beck and they were like beck plays 40 instruments did he make better music though i don't care how <laughs> talent i don't care how much you're capable of how well did you utilize it that's a like, that's a shitty argument. So I'll agree with that one. <laughs> like I just I just don't think that that matters that much. But if you make you know if you're this talented and you're able to make better music or be more creative, that's when those instruments truly come into play. If I'm just a writer and I can't think of anything outside of the beats that's given to me, yeah, that makes me a worse artist because <laughs> I can't create I can't create the sound that I want without it being given to me. But you know, somebody got to keep producers with a job. <laughs> so, so hold on, hold on, hold on. We got a contradicting opinion here at the end. I'm confused. So, you're saying it makes you a worse artist for not being able to envision and create the music that would go along with maybe, say, your song, like a writing ability. It doesn't have to even be rap. Let's just say songwriting. So, we can just include mm -hmm. country, rock, any, any, every genre can have songwriting. Yeah. So, would you say then? that those people are less of an artist? Is that what you're saying at the end? Or did I miss it? No, slight misinterpretation. I'm saying that there's people that don't know how to play instruments, like even someone like Kanye West. You can make great music or at least have the ideas to pursue how to make great music without knowing how to play the instruments. It's the utilization of those things that make you better or worse. If I know no instruments, but I know what I want, the violin to sound like here or what I want the piano to sound like here you still have the ability to be a great artist mm -hmm. if I don't know those things and I don't have the the knowledge oh, to figure those things out okay. then I okay. suck because right, like the right. only you can't even that, describe it then is what you're saying exactly because like it's just like it's the reason why <laughs> I look down on pop arts a lot <laughs> Because hey, yeah, yeah. right. a lot of part, a lot of parts of pop music is handed to the artist. And it's like, well, you don't you don't engineer anything, which is fine. You don't need to. You don't mix. You don't master. You don't even pick the. You don't even create the melody sometimes, depending on the artist. And, you know, I'll take my shot early. It's a lot of K-pop. But <laughs> if everything oh, is manufactured, like the worst of the worst. if everything, exactly, if everything is manufactured for you instead of the voice, you are not a more creative artist than anyone. But I, could you make, are you better at being the package deal, like the package face for what everybody else put together? Uh, yeah, probably. But that doesn't I, I, make you really the artist. It just makes you the face. I got to iterate on that before I even 
response to the rest there is a video that surfaced about two years ago of three amazing k-pop singers sing mm-hmm. beautifully but they weren't attractive and they just you know they sailed out of this game show Damn. that industry is complete shit yeah, I, I i like some k-pop but honestly the k-pop industry my god bro get over the plastic surgery jesus yeah. christ minus, it's not even about music favorite, minus k r b korean r b is the best <laughs> I, yeah. k-pop i can't stand but korean r b oh my god hey bro come on give me a sick bitch in k-pop who can sing i'm with it <laughs> right. i'm with it I, <laughs> let, let, let's let's diversify um so i'm gonna be a hater on that whole argument because you named some hella hella exceptions by the way that whole time okay. my nigga, you you listed kanye west i'm gonna say it right now that's probably one of the top two for three producers of all time who cannot play an instrument exactly. with an addendum <laughs> that's a very important part because <laughs> a lot of producers can't play instruments and they fucking suck on average on but super majority a hundred percent you name shit like and then people you did name who like rap like flavor flavor is old like fun like this statistics are not statistics surveys on people with music literacy like normal people used to know how to like read sheet music and know music like before the midi it was invented like in the 1980s and 70s and 90s but so there are some uh, the older people i get it different time i'm gonna be a hating ass old person then i guess bro new producers <laughs> suck on average niggas can't play instruments i think the beats are like that you all use the same mpc same loop and i think if you could just play one instrument you're automatically better than most of them and that's elitist that and pretentious. Elitist. that's elitist <laughs> and pretentious as fuck and i don't care nigga y'all <laughs> suck on and I don't, the thing is i don't even agree with because i don't think a lot of people that can play one instrument are even that creative they know how to play other people's stuff very well but don't know how to make anything on their own if you know how to play an instrument though i feel like you automatically know better on how to imp- the, the thing is i noticed with a lot of beats i'm talking about like we're not going to talk about like the ones who are we can even kind of include some of the people who make like beats for like a major artist but like mm-hmm. let's let's talk about like c-list c-list musicians so like maybe they have a small following on youtube or maybe they have a small spotify play like like c-list um yeah i will say and maybe it's because I like hip hop though I listen to a lot of it. I'm like, man, y'all using the same shit over and over. And then like occasionally you'll see something like uh like, like even sp- I get a lot of small time artists on TikTok. You'll see them like play a saxophone. Like saxophone is saxophone is deep rooted in jazz, which is deep rooted in black culture and hip hop. So a lot of some yeah. people do not play saxophone. So when those people play a saxophone and they play their sax or overdub their lyrics and they actually can rap and they can play multiple instruments people say that should be fire and that'd be some of the that'd be some of the most inventive stuff because it's different it's creative because it's really you know it's just it it's just a little bit more and i feel like yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna keep being elitist and pretentious i'm I'm mistaken with it bro if you can't play an instrument bro there's a nine out of ten chance i think you probably just make shitty beats oh god I know how to play the two band drums and I'm gonna make shitty pieces. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. But I'm not I mean, proficient. Like, yeah, I'm about to say, but I'm not proficient yeah. at the instrument. I'm about I just to know say, how to bro, play. I own a piano and I can say I play it, but come on now. Like, like yeah. the last time I touched it was like years ago. I mean like like truly proficient. Proficient enough to you know proficient enough to the point where if you were you could actually get a gig at a at a uh, club or a restaurant, that level of proficiency. Which I'm going to say is it's if you're proficient, it's not that hard as a lot of coffee shops. If you can do a coffee shop gig, to me, you're proficient enough. You know what? Fair. Or if someone's willing to pay you money on Fiverr, because that's also another uh, revenue. <clears throat> and there is some crazy good. I mean, there's crazy good talent people on Fiverr, or Upwork all the time, music, art, all that. So yeah. If people can pay you, bro. And you charging like fifty dollars because gigs or coffee shops don't really pay shit at all. It's probably around the same amount. You you can say you're proficient. You're right though. 
Yeah. So, well, you're right, I'm right about that, but you disagree entirely with the rest. I'm, I'm gonna guess. No, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Man, saying I'm right, he only half me that shit. <laughs> I mean, I'm not. I'm not in total disagreement with you. I'd be, I'd be totally honest. I'm not. I just think that the pretentious aspect kind of ruins the argument Jeez. with with people that play instruments. It, the the pretentiousness behind it, because I, you know, when me and you talk about music, I always say the biggest gateway to music ain't talent, it's money. And of course, when it comes to playing instruments, what's one of the biggest gateways to having good instruments? Niggas with no jobs in the '70s could learn a goddamn saxophone. I don't want to hear shit. And now there's an entire industry exploiting people, giving them no money, and they still need to know how to do that stuff. That's true. <laughs> and that's the point. Shit ain't changed, nigga. But now y'all don't know how to play shit? <laughs> no, now they, hit, now they hit a fourth, they know how to play shit. We don't even have fine arts programs in school no more. How are you gonna get somebody interested in playing a goddamn guitar <laughs> outside of sitting on a sitting what on a college mean? a college field that they all can't right, even afford right. to go inside yeah, of? The attention I'm, spans I'm, are I'm, way I'm too saying, short to learn, bro. I am, I'm talking to all all my fellow black people. Come on, bro. When you grew up, you know you heard some actual good music. And I'm gonna say I'm gonna be an old ass hater. You heard Marvin Gaye. You heard all the what's it, Donny Hathaway, and all the all the all the people. You heard during Christmas to Thanksgiving at your family gatherings where you were forced to be with your family. Um, <laughs> like, you know, let's just say keep it a bug. I don't care if you, you know, if you don't fuck with your family all year, they usually make you at least fuck with them for at least one or two days for the holidays. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. So I don't want to hear any any reasons you didn't hear some good music with good instruments. And if you really heard all that shit and you said, Man, I don't give a fuck about playing instruments. I mean, I don't know, man. Don't go into music. <laughs> you probably, you probably <laughs> did hear it in there when they said, "How much is it to get this little drum set for band class? Five hundred dollars, boy. You better go pick up something." <laughs> hey, no, nah, that's bullshit, bro. Go pick up a training pad. No, 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 no. Go make, nah, go nah, make nah, some nah, makeshift nah. drums in the back. Exactly. Thank you, Landon. Thank you. <laughs> we got nigga, we got white people making careers out of wearing a horse head mask and playing drums on a bucket in a shower. I don't want to hear <laughs> shit. Shit, crazy. <laughs> And Bucket the and drummer, guess, you think I'm bullshitting. What? They don't make good shooting guards, so shut up. <laughs> <laughs> or good wide receivers. Or good wide receivers, and they'll never play corner in <laughs> <laughs> They came out with sports. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't, or be the be best honest, rappers. For real, to be totally honest, though, that's usually what, at least where I grew up, that's where the interest in music got turned away towards like i was in band right. and i played football and when i made it to high school they literally told me choose one and everyone in my family was like so cool so when you start football <laughs> damn not a that soul was... was like so you still gonna stick with it i mean first of all it's a tuba i ain't getting i'm not getting much for it i was gonna quit but but even when but even but even in middle school like when i was like when i went for saxophone and drums i was still getting pushed more towards just being in football by itself like people were just like well you can play you know like the theater not theater but like not theater band no it's i think it's like was it orchestral band basically indoor band but they were like yeah marching band no you come into football and if they make you choose you better quit and play football like it's <laughs> In less economically strong areas, that's where you were pushed towards. That was the that's the only thing I meant to say about that. I'm talking about the hood. You should have just put well, a high different. school musical. You know bro. No, 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 no. But you know what though? That's the what? Texas game. <laughs> Hold on, what the hell did Landon say? I didn't hear him. I, I, it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> I told him he should have put a high school musical. Tell him, uh, you know, football, you love it, but you want to play the tube more. <laughs> But my, okay. right, but my heart is in the nah, music. You ain't got no home to go back to. That shit would have been funny. <laughs> yeah, that was hilarious. I'm, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this because this is a location thing. I will say in Texas, because this, you know, Texas football is huge. Like, shit, shit is life around here. Like, yeah, I don't mm. know how the Texans suck ass, but a lot of professional football players come from the South. Like, straight up. Do. Uh, and I will say, in my situation, when I saw people growing up around me in, in New Orleans, because this is also kind of an extreme, that's the city of a lot of music. So Ooh. for me, it was, so it's hard for me to be like, oh, but in that situation, it didn't matter whether you were poor. 
you found a way you found something like there are so many people who had no money that would perform second line music and like it'd be but they would have a drum they have so i mean it'd be beat up like come on like, it's not gonna be new but like everyone has some type of instrument but you know what i'm i'm thinking now about it new orleans is extreme about that texas yeah. gives a fuck about a lot of fucks about football like we care yeah. a lot we're, the, so, we're like the, we're the top three state for recruiting in sports so yeah they definitely would rather tell you just get the hell out of sport just get the hell out of music and play sports so yeah mm-hmm. right so we, we we got kind of a bias i'm gonna say that yeah that's true look at that education learning from right. others so far y'all ohio ass motherfuckers because i don't know shit about y'all yeah. you know <laughs> i don't mm-hmm. know what y'all be doing out there but uh you know what i gotta ask though because we never landing creeped by without getting any hate or love. Uh, <laughs> you think that if a producer cannot play an instrument, he's worse? And we're, and, and on average, don't be coming out here with Kanye. That nigga too good. Don't, don't be coming with the Kanye argument. I don't want to hear that. I mean, uh, I, I would say... Um, elitist. Elitist. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not elitist. I mean, I know people in the music industry and stuff like that, especially one of my uh, close friends, Austin. Like, uh, he don't really, <laughs> he's a producer, but he don't know how to play no damn instrument. He wants to learn how to, uh, you know, play like the piano and uh, the drums and stuff like that. But he always says he's too busy to learn. I'm like, yeah, whatever, nigga. <laughs> hey, we riding on that one. All right. It's like New Year's Eve resolutions to go to the gym. <laughs> this time <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I definitely uh when it comes to that type of shit and like new year's resolution that shit just makes you feel every time man like at the end of the day right. you're gonna do it or you're not exactly so if we had to dis disregarding your friend on after the average stuff you see out there on youtube i don't know if you'd be looking up free type beats I'll keep you doing that shit. Now you got me doing that shit. I've been doing that shit. I've done it from <laughs> time to time. You know, on the average thing you'd be hearing out there, or I don't know if you listen to those radios where they be trying to find and discover new artists. Yeah. Sometimes some of it be good. Sometimes, but most time it's bad. But yeah, most of the time it's bad. On. How you feel if? Because uh, you can tell when someone. I can tell when someone can play an instrument. Maybe have a beat come out. I mean, like when it when it comes to instruments, like there are some songs that I prefer the live instrumentals uh, and like the actual beat itself. Sometimes uh, uh, there's a there's a version of a Jay Z song called "Thank You," where um, I saw it live on the Blueprint tour, and like the live version sounded so much better than the uh, album version to me, at least. Okay, Landon agrees. (laughs) <laughs> Live music with real instruments is better. I'm like, so just, glad it, we came to this. It just oh sound, no! It, that, it just wait, that so was good. the argument. I thought that they were just better, like saying that they were better at making music. No, the sound is definitely better with live instruments. But I don't know. Being able... it's both. That's oh, my argument. Oh, it's both. God, <laughs> that's <laughs> that is a messy, no, convoluted that's... argument. That is a messy, long-winded argument. In that case, then I guess I'll agree with y'all. But no. <laughs> <laughs> ah yes. Join me, shit on the shitty producers. <laughs> hey man, just let them make a living, man. Hey, they ain't hurting nobody. <laughs> For real? Oh no, absolutely. Go get paid. Look, bro, I don't care. I'm still gonna say you shit. <laughs> I don't care. You know what? The person I met today, he was like, <laughs> "What would you tell Drake if he was in the room right now?" I tell Drake, "Yeah, your last shit kind of sucked, but like, you cool, I guess." <laughs> Yeah. I like your old stuff. He's oh. like, you tell me. I'm like, yeah. His yeah, last shit like, kind of stuff. I'm like, why, why are you so zesty? That's what I would ask. <laughs> yeah, I never heard a man ask another man why he's zesty. That's funny as <laughs> fuck. Hey, man, you've been off for like three albums. Is everything okay? <laughs> <laughs> What's been going on? <laughs> nah, I, I mean, but you see, we shitting on Drake. <laughs> I'd be like, hey, you know uh, what? how does it feel to never have dropped a classic? 
damn. Ooh, that would be painful. Hey, I, 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 I only halfway give him, too. Only halfway give him hey, <laughs> no, even better. Hey man, we got the same amount of classics. Isn't that something? <laughs> <laughs> You know, he's the shit out of us. And the closest you know is the closest is take care, dog. Yeah, take, I, honestly, I would, I would give him take care because it had a lasting impact. But as far as reviews and stuff, no, mm, that's true. Yeah, I, I, I would say that he would roast the shit out of us. But you know what? We go to sleep and we wake up the next day and refresh. I think oh, yeah. so petty. He would be. He would be a fuming the next I day. Would, I would. <laughs> That's the part that would make hey. me happy is that I know I can get under his skin before he gets under mine. I'm aware of who I am. Are you aware of who you are? Like, plus and that would end it. Plus, he'll probably just send his goons after us. He he won't he won't do it himself. Too scared. Yeah, that's true. Oh, big facts. I'm I'm losing to some of the people he be fucking with. Jay they Prince come around my block. Else. I would be like, ah, the ops. <laughs> Time to stay home. <laughs> With that said, we, we know you don't care about us, Drake, and honestly, I don't dislike you that much. But your last three albums were pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, big facts. I tell people all the time I'm a Drake fan. All right, let me keep it a bug. I'm a Drake fan, but no, I, mean, I don't I don't have to like all his music. Yeah, uh, true that. I mean, same and thing also, with I Kanye. Got, and I don't care if people try to get paid off their shitty work. I got like his shitty work. Same exactly. thing. You should, you should have producer. Shit producer. I'm a shitty musician myself. We can be shady together, bro. Yeah, <laughs> like it, it's cool. People will still pay for us. Yeah, I'll, I'll write for Drake. <laughs> okay, hold on now. Someone just said I'll, I'll take a few million dollars. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a whole different story. Somebody was like, "Oh, you'll uh, you'll never make it to the top, but you can write for Drake." I'm like, he's about to put out the blueprint from Toronto. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you I like why? You be like, why we ain't talking about these hoes in here? Exactly. Yeah, at least I mentioned at least three hoes from Texas. At least Easy. three. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> that depends. It could be men hoes. Still easy. Or what? <laughs> I'm getting paid. <laughs> I'm getting paid, brother. This is easy work. <laughs> that pen be flowing. Just like other pens may be flowing. It don't matter. <laughs> Honestly, this episode ran longer than I thought it would. <laughs> Wait, Landon, did you play any video games this year that you want to review, I guess? But I say, to or be honest, about? I have been lacking on the video game, so I'll listen to what y'all said earlier before I got on. Because I do want to get back into playing video games. I'm about to buy the uh, Switch. I'm about to buy PS5. Again. My P- <laughs> yeah, again. And, um... Uh, my PS4 is on its last leg, so it's time to upgrade and get a PS5. And I know that y'all be playing a lot of stuff on the PC, so I guess I should upgrade a PC as well. Yeah, I, I had an oh, opportunity to win a game of PC, but I lost. Nah. <laughs> you said what? Not, damn, they won a lottery over there. Oh, well, not, <laughs> not, the, not the lottery. I just Let's just say that I'm having a very good time with sports. That nigga gambling. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it was a very good day. That's the best way to say it. I feel you. I feel you. My fantasy team lost. Yeah, but that's my fan- I don't watch football. <laughs> yeah, but that's the thing, though. Like my fantasy football team, like it can suck every uh, week or so. But as long as the gambling money come in, I'm okay. Unfortunately, I have to look at this fucking stupid ass trophy for last place. But whatever. Hey. Money is money. That's all that matter. True that. That's how Drake. I want, that's how Drake I, music I, want, I want both though. Shoot, I'm tired of losing. Fuck this shit. Hey, bro. Sometimes you got to choose. Drake chose the money. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Put the music down. But now, nah. uh, um, ah, what else did we want to talk about this episode? I think that was it. I'm, I'm gonna keep it a buck. Yeah, that, that honestly was it. That was it. That was it. I'm, I'm okay, so well, uh, you know, just keep y'all uh, mental health up as much as you can because uh, times are hard out here. You know, got the government trying to do all types of shit. And the fact that they are 80, 90 years old and trying to control our lives is kind of crazy. But hey, here we are. True. Yeah, uh, I've myself i haven't had the 
the best start to September, but it's it's slowly getting better. Also, this is like the anniversary of when I was in a house fire, so that also may have some type of impact, but it's mostly just this month has kind of sucked to start. But, uh, you. you know, it's gonna get better. Things, it's gonna get better. <laughs> absolutely. And if not, you know, I have video games, I guess. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> hmm. All right. Big facts. Max. Yeah. We all, anyway. We're gonna get we're gonna get through it all together, man. It's all gonna be all right. Absolutely. Also, you sound far away from your mic. But other than that, any last words? Oh my bad. I was leaning back in my chair. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Went from whispering my ear to like you're on like raw dog. Like, <laughs> <Yeah. damn." laughs> well, I mean you requested it, so I blocked. <laughs> ah, I <don't... laughs> pause. <laughs> yeah. big, big, big pause. That was wild. Uh, I apologize. Uh, <laughs> I guess that was uh, a Drake in me. Damn. <laughs> oh man, wrong audience, man. I'm not. I'm not 17 or a woman. But you're close. <laughs> you. Yeah, damn, shit, not Drake is so easy, bro. It's too easy. <laughs> On that note, Shona, speak easy. We out. Yeah.